dragging the region to destruction. That's how the IDF describes Hezbollah's relentless attacks on northern Israel. It warns the terror group's actions could have devastating consequences. Well, over the weekend in Gaza, Israel lost 12 soldiers within 24 hours. Meanwhile, the IDF declared a pause in fighting in some areas to allow for the transport of humanitarian aid. CBN's Julie Stahl has the story. Israel is warning that Iranian-backed Hezbollah is risking all-out war. This is in response to last week's intense rocket attacks, the worst of the war so far. Hezbollah's increasing aggression is bringing us to the brink of what could be a wider escalation, one that could have devastating consequences for Lebanon and the entire region. Since October 7th, Hezbollah has fired more than 5,000 projectiles at Israeli civilians, forcing the evacuation of nearly 100,000 Israelis. Hagari says Iran is behind it all. Iran's terror proxies continue to drag the region to destruction. Israel will continue fighting against Iran's axis of evil on all fronts in Gaza in Lebanon, in other fronts. Avraham Levine of the Alma Center told CBN News since the beginning, most of the world has been ignoring the Hezbollah attack on northern Israel. We're talking about a country that's uh, supported uh, with good uh, connections in Europe, with France, good connections with the United States that supports the Lebanese army. Yet there's no pressure on the country to stop, eliminate, or even slow down this attack on the northern front. The attacks are devastating parts of northern Israel, causing huge fires in the summer heat and dryness. We're talking about thousands of acres, maybe up to 15,000 acres in the north, all across the western Galilee, northern Galilee, and the northern Golan Heights, uh, all from Hezbollah uh, shooting towards the forests, uh, exploiting the situation for their benefit. In the south, the IDF suffered severe losses in the fighting in Gaza. Twelve Israeli soldiers were killed in separate incidents within 24 hours over the weekend, eight of them when their armored personnel carrier was hit in an explosion. In an effort to help Gaza's beleaguered citizens, the IDF says it will take a daily pause in fighting in parts of the southern Gaza Strip to help make sure humanitarian aid can get in. The Israel police, whose unit led the rescue of four hostages on June 8th, released body cam video of Israeli forces under heavy gunfire while rescuing female hostage Noah Argamani, telling her, we're taking you home. <laughs> Sunday, Prime Minister Netanyahu announced the dissolution of the war cabinet formed to manage the war against Hamas and Hezbollah as part of the agreement with Benny Gantz when he joined the coalition government. Netanyahu says Gantz's resignation makes it unnecessary and he'll make decisions with the defense minister and key cabinet ministers. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, it looks like there's going to be another front in this war against terror, and that front will be in northern Israel, southern Lebanon. If Hezbollah continues to do this, I don't think Israel will have any, have any choice. Just imagine if that were happening in the United States. Just imagine that a terror group uh, down on our southern border invaded and, and killed 1,200 people and took over 100 hostages away. And, and, and then, to add to it, Canada decided to start firing rockets at Buffalo. What would the United States do? Well, we would absolutely put an end to both of those things. You, you don't get to do that. I don't understand why the world community is somehow of a different opinion that Israel should just stand there and take it. But that's what's currently happening at the UN and at the ICC. Them, them claiming some kind of war crime and putting out arrest warrants for the leaders of Israel. It just doesn't make any sense. You and I would do the exact same thing under the same provocation. Uh, we need to stand with Israel now. I do, do think that our government should call on the UN to enforce that no fire zone. Southern Lebanon is supposed to be free from all weapons. The UN was supposed to enforce that. Uh, but none of that is happening today. I, I hope they do it. I hope Hezbollah stands down because it will be a, 
uh, a major war. This isn't going to be anything uh, less than that. And if you think Hamas had a significant force, Hezbollah is much stronger, and it will be a very protracted battle.